Hey there, I'm Tate from Flashproof. Recently, we received a request to do some form of tutorial on lip syncing, or audio syncing in general. This is basically when you import audio into an animation and make it look like you're talking. Basically, you're never going to want to touch Flash again after doing this. So let's begin. Alright, as always, the first thing you want to do when you start a new Flash is open Flash. Now we're going to go ahead and create a new action script 3.0. I usually use 2.0 because I'm too fucking lazy to learn 3.0. Anyway, uh, well, uh, to get into lip syncing, uh, I guess the first thing you want to do is go ahead and draw the dude who's going to be talking. We'll just go ahead and go with a random size here and we'll draw his little head and his little neck. And his stupid fucking party! And there you've got your dude. You, uh... You got him and you want to make him talk. So, uh, well, first you need to import audio into your Flash document. So what we're gonna do right now is... Import to library off of file. You really don't have to do this. You can literally just click and drag a file into your library. It's so much fucking easier. But this is the technical way to do it. Anyway, I've got sound.wave. <clears throat> now, we're going to make a new layer for this sound.wave. And we will extend it so that the entire sound file plays. Now, it seems to end right there. So we're going to go ahead and remove the excess frames. And uh, usually, also at the end of a file, uh, a sound file, you want to go ahead and put another keyframe there to just just to cut it off because a lot of the times in Flash, if you don't cut it off, it'll end up uh, when you're previewing an animation, it'll you know it'll pop up like later on for some reason and just glitch out. Uh, and yeah, and that motherfucking line is bugging me so much. Anyway, uh, first thing you want to do when you're importing an audio file is go ahead and make sure that it is set to stream right here and then to assure the highest possible quality when previewing your animation you want to set the audio stream to I usually set mine to about 80 or 112 to keep the file size a little lower and you want to make quality best and uh, pre-processing you don't want to convert it to mono because Generally, that will make your audio clip sound poppy if there's, like, any bass or loud noises in it. So now that we've got our man and our sound clip, we're going to go ahead and make another new layer, uh, layer 3. I don't name my layers, but you probably should, so I'll name this one Man... Dude. And then this one... Sound Thing. And then this one... Mouth in which to suck the... P and there we go, we got mouths. So, we have our mouth now, and uh, most of the time, uh, it will generally start off with, you know, a regular mouth. So we'll go ahead and draw a regular mouth, and I'm going to pull this audio clip out just a little bit so that he's not talking right away. And then I'll just extend these. And now we've got our audio clip and our mouth, and I'll go ahead and play the audio clip. I hate Flash. And there we go. We want to make him say that because because that's what I want to make him say because that's what he's gonna say because because I can make him say anything I fucking want. So now that we've got that, I hate Flash. You want to find the very first syllable, the very first part where he starts saying the word, and you want to make a blank keyframe by pressing F7. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and turn onion skinning on. I believe that was gone over in a previous tutorial, but if it wasn't, I'll go ahead and go over what onion skinning is again, just in case. Onion skin is, you click it, and a little bar comes up right here and shows, you know, a little onion skin, like a little faded out version of any previous or uh, frames coming up ahead so that you can, you know, make sure alignment's good. Now with lip syncing, you generally want to resize... Uh, the uh, view of your onion skin. You can see up in the timeline where you can resize it from the beginning or the end. And you want to make sure you've got no frames ahead and just one frame before so that you're not seeing too much and it's not like, you know, a little overwhelming and you can't really, you know, f you don't know what you're doing. Because that tends to happen if you can see too much on the screen at one time. Now then, we've got. I hate flat. I hate. We have I the hate... word I. So we're going to go ahead and draw a little mouth. 
and uh, you know you want to sound out the word I. So you go I hate, I hate. Make sure you find out where I ends. I hate, I hate. So right there, you want to make another blank keyframe so you know where the word ends, and then you can start sizing your mouth. This is how I do it. A lot of people will completely redraw the frame each time. And that's how I used to do it, and it does look pretty good that way. Uh, I won't lie. But it is a lot of work. <clears throat> and uh, sometimes people just don't even resize at all. Like, some people just leave it like a completely open mouth until the next word. Now, with the word I, it comes out into an E sound, so you want to start stretching your mouth a little bit as it closes. So, your mouth is almost fully closed, and he says, I hate. The next word, his mouth does not fully close. So, you don't want to make the mouth close before I and hate. So, hate will generally use the exact same mouth type. So, we're going to go ahead and copy-paste it from the, from the first mouth. However, we want to make it look like it's coming in from the second one. So we will stretch it out a little bit. In fact, it'd probably look a little better if we just went from the last mouth. So we've got this one right here. So we've got I, and then need to transform it a little bit, make it look good, which seems to be impossible. All right, so it's opening again, and then we need to find the end of hate. Hate, hate flat. Eight flat. Eight flat. So about right there. Eight flat. So now we need to make it open up, open up a little bit more. And we've got. All right. Now there's like the peak of the word right there, and then it needs to start closing again. No. You want? I'm gonna. I'm, I left it open for an extra frame. I didn't change it at all, so that it looks like you know I hate, and then the mouth is open, and then it starts closing again. And I think I might be really bad at describing this. So now we have the end of hate, which comes out into a T sound. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do to make this easier to, uh, to make this easier to, like, understand is I'm going to go ahead and fill in each mouth, which I probably should have done from the beginning, so that you know the black is where it's open. So now... you know that when there's white, that's his teeth showing. So, you know, I hate your teeth are showing. And now we have the word flash, which starts out with an F sound, which is a little difficult to draw. Uh, Fs and L sounds are both a little odd, and uh, TH and L sounds are the exact same, pretty much. Flash. So you got that. And then you come down, and you want to draw where he's biting his lip a little bit. So, you know, you've got his teeth there, and then you just... Here's what I do with it. I just make a few marks right there just to indicate that he is indeed, like, his lip is being bitten. Yeah. Flash. Flash. And then there's an L sound for fla. La 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 la. La 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 la. So we'll go ahead and do this. And for flash, la, the tongue is usually touching the top of the mouth. So we'll do it like this, just kind of lazily, I guess. Looks like he might have a flaccid penis in his mouth, but, you know, whatever. Now, for the, uh, we don't want to make the teeth just, like, sitting there, or not the teeth, but the, uh, F sound. We don't want to just, like, have it stale and looking, you know, boring, so we're going to resize it just a tiny bit each frame. So yeah, like that. And then the L sound Flash. only stays there for just a second. So we can do that, and then we'll go ahead and get our mouth back. Our regular mouth back right here. And then we'll go ahead and wide it open a little bit. Then we got flash. So let's find out where this syllable ends. Or not the syllable, but the sound of the word. So flash will end at the SH sound. Flash. So right there. 
Now my dog's barking. And that's gonna ruin the whole fucking tutorial, but let's go ahead and go do this, because I really don't want to do all this again. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're making the... We're making the mouth close a little bit. And now it is almost completely closed right here. And... Shh! Is the teeth. The teeth will be showing right here. So we'll go ahead and get our teeth frame again. And paste it in right here. Now. Since that's the end of the entire phrase, we're going to go ahead and make the teeth size down a little bit. And then... Let's align this a little better. And then I will blank it out. And make a blank keyframe there. And his mouth will show again. And I'll just tweet, make that go down a little bit. Alright, I'll go ahead and carry this over to the 40th frame. And here we go. I hate flash. I hate flash. I don't know why that selects that. I hate flash. Why is it selecting that? What the heck? Let me lock it. I hate flash. Yeah, there we go. I hate flash. Yeah, see, there you go. Let's zoom in a little bit. I hate flash. And yeah, I really hope that helps you guys. If you have any like uh, questions at all, uh, send an ask to either one of the flashproof guys or just to flashproof in general. Because I believe if you send a if you send a message uh, towards the flash proof, then me and uh, Harpo both will get it. And uh, just ask us to respond privately, and we can give you guys uh, tips that way. But uh, otherwise, you know, send in uh, some requests for, you know, different tutorials and stuff, and we will try to get those down. Uh, I hope that this helped with lip syncing uh, for the person who asked. Uh, and yeah, that's I about it. Flash. I hate flash. I hate flash. I hate flash. I hate flash.